What's up, y'all? It's Mark. It's John. We're from Dirty Honey, and you're watching Ramsey. Vicky here and I'm at BST Hyde Park and I'm with Mark of Dirty Honey. How are you today? I'm doing all right, you know. It's a good good day to be on a stage that's not a hundred degrees, which would be good. And you're supporting Guns N' Roses. Yep, that'll be fun as well, I'm sure. So it looks like, uh, oh, they're starting right now. Ah, well. Lark and Poe. Lark and Poe, yeah, in the and background. <laughs> I won't miss anything now. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. <laughs> Perks of being back here, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so you're actually going to be doing a tour with Guns N' Roses across America. Are you excited for that? Yeah, we're going to be doing a couple shows with them. Um, I'm really excited, actually, because we're going to be uh, going to my hometown. That'll be good. Um, oh, yeah. In Saratoga and with <laughs> this guy. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. I think um, we've done a lot of them you know with them already we've done yeah. probably like 10 or 12 shows with them already so it's uh so you nothing said, new but it's still yeah. it's always exciting to play with those so guys so by now you must have you know met the guys hung out maybe a little bit can you tell us any stories i mean i wish there were some good ones um but there aren't um we've the first thing we ever did was with slash and miles kennedy so we've kind of had a nice relationship with him specifically um i was the only one to meet axel briefly in las vegas when we played with them and then uh that was obviously like a pinch me moment for me but um, yeah. yeah it was really cool got to talk to him about Netflix for like 30 minutes and that's about it yeah I mean it must be a dream come true being supporting Guns N' Roses across this whole tour yeah I mean it's, it's awesome like we both love guns obviously so yeah. not only getting to play before them and I think their fans are pretty primed to um, like our music you know yeah. that's a good uh, a matchup so um, yeah. You know, that's always great, but then obviously to, to cap off your night every night watching Guns N' Roses play isn't the worst thing in yeah, the world. Exactly. So. Um, and I saw on your YouTube you posted a teaser video of a new single that's going to be on your forthcoming album, yep. Won't Take Me Alive. Yeah. I wondered if you could talk a bit about how that track came together, how you put the chorus together? Maybe? The chorus? Um, it's quite a story. Yeah. That is a, quite a story, yeah. So John wrote a, a really great riff. I think it's like honestly one of the best riffs I've heard in the last like 10 or 20 years in rock music like period the end um, oh my fuck you if you disagree <laughs> I don't care um, I'm right I know I'm right uh, so you know when you get handed something like it was actually here in London that he showed it to me for the first time last summer um, I was like fuck that's so good I, I can't uh, I can't now it's up to me not to fuck it up um, and yeah, we kind of really struggled with getting the chorus together for a long time and it took probably two or three months to really get it to a spot where we were really, really happy with it. Um, but we got there, you know, and lyrically it came together really nicely and um, the melody was, was really cool and a very like, honestly, it's a very Aerosmith, like guns sort of delivery. Um, you know, which is right down our alley, and, and yes. you know, we love that. So, uh, yeah, once we once the chorus came together, we were like, okay, we got something special. Yeah. And what can you tell us about your forthcoming album? What's it called? When's it out? It's going to be called uh, Can't Find the Breaks, um, and it'll be out this fall. Cool. And what can you tell us about it musically? What can we expect? Yeah, I think we spread our wings a little bit more on this yeah. record. Um, you know, sonically, you know, we have a um, acoustic song on there that's that's really good, and uh, you know, we we just spread our wings creatively a little bit more, which is nice. And we we took more time in the studio to record and and write, obviously, which helps and dive into the sonics a little bit, and you know, create more of a a journey for listeners along the way. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. And I heard that you recorded it in Byron Bay, Australia. Yeah. But you guys are from. LA, right? Yeah, yeah. What made you go all the way to Australia? Our uh, producer lives down there, um, right. and he's got a studio. And I love going down there. I don't know how much he loves going down there, but uh, <laughs> I got a little homesick this time. Aww. Yeah. 
But was, I like being in the studio. The studio part was, was yeah. great. Yeah. 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 I'm always at home there. I could be, the studio could be right here. If the studio in there is nice, I'm like, let's go. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are from LA, but you, did you grow up there? I grew up in New York and he grew up in Maine. Uh, okay, so not exactly. But not city part of New York, right? Upstate. Yeah, yeah upstate. So we're actually kind of more uh, from uh, from the from the woods, you know, of, of our respective uh, communities and yeah. uh, country I, boys, as you will. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I moved to New York, um, you know, after I left home in New York City, that is, and, and loved it. And then once uh, once I made the move to LA, that's when we all sort of got together, gigging around town, and yeah, we were fortunate enough to meet each other. Nice, yeah, yeah. it's lucky. I mean, that's the place to meet someone in a band, I guess. Or yeah, another yeah. musician to create a band. Um, I went to LA about 10 years ago to the Sunset Strip, met Lemmy at the Rainbow. Oh, like, nice. it, to me, that's the place of dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Just the Rainbow. That's where he lived in the evenings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I've heard that a lot of venues are shutting down along the Sunset Strip. Is that accurate? Uh, the the Viper Room went yeah. down. It's going down. The Key Club went down. Yeah, it turned into a. Night we club, we right? avoided the Sunset Strip like the plague though like we had nothing to do with it being We've a band that start there oh you know yeah We never played there yeah we played the Viper Room the Viper Room was the only, is is in my opinion the only last place to credibly play like yeah. it's cool and the main reason is they don't do pay to play right. but the other places are very I just don't I just don't see artists coming through there anymore there's yeah. like teenage bands and like high school mm -hmm. bands who pay the Troubadour is still cool but that's yeah. not the yeah. Sunset Strip yeah, that's yeah. the Troubadour yeah the Troubadour and the Viber Room are the last cool yeah. ones the other ones no offense but they're just yeah. uh, I mean museums. I just <laughs> I just love the history of it's, uh, the yeah. place but you know we're at Hyde Park London today and there's so much history here as well so the and you guys are gonna gas. make history yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll try and make history today for y'all yeah. yeah now if you could describe your band in free objects which objects would you pick? Three objects? Yeah. Well, obviously a guitar. Yeah. Maybe like uh, 1967 Camaro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even modded so that it does the straight drag with the things that stick out when it pops wheelie. And panties. <laughs> sort of sleazy. There's some, there's some sort of like hippie mountain like California wilderness soul in there though you know okay. definitely like it's not all sunset strips what would leaves. represent that though like I don't a know poncho Maybe just like the, a redwood tree <laughs> yeah like yeah. a redwood tree yeah I think there's definitely there's definitely a lot of that in there yeah you like got... I said being where we're from and and if you look at our videos we shot a lot of them in that kind of yeah. setting or at least referenced it in every video well except with the exception of Rolling Sevens but I like okay. that a couple videos because that adds something wholesome as well and it's just who we are yeah we're like yeah. we're 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 city partiers who want to retreat to the campground, you know? Yeah. I think as people. We definitely both, like, when we think of, like, super fame, the, the most appealing part of it is, like, the exclusivity of having the financial freedom to, like, afford those super, like, exclusive, off-the-beaten-path excursions, like in Alaska or oh, yeah. Jackson Hole, Wyoming, or, yeah. you know, like and some... And having some nice land. Yes, yeah. But then also a flat shortage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, totally. <laughs> so that you can just step out like and drink. I want to step, yeah, I want to step into where the, where the art's being born, you know? Well, I really hope that you get all of that in the future. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for speaking to me, and we're really looking forward to the new album, and people can catch you on tour in America with Guns N' Roses. Can't yep. wait. Thanks.